What's going on everybody? It is your boy Crypto. Welcome back to another video and today you guys just won't leave me alone to react to this song Okay, I'm over here trying to mind my own business All right, I'm working on a video for my main channel trying to get it uploaded today It's gonna take me a couple more hours at least like six more hours. That's more than a couple It's gonna take me a long time to finish I'm gonna be up all night trying to get it uploaded before the new year happens if I upload it tomorrow It's you know, it's not the end of the world But you know you guys keep hitting me up left and right to react to this song I have to go to work in an hour and you guys just you're not giving me a break okay? Okay, I want a break! <laughs> I, I just need a break. Well, I'm just playing with you guys. So this is Mises, okay? It's just wild. It's a very crazy coincidence because I reacted to Mises' guest yesterday. And that dropped on, like, December 8th or 9th or 10th or something like that. I was, like, weeks behind reacting to it. And, like, 12 hours later, he drops this, which is called Home. And it's another Nick Cannon diss. So we're going to get on into this. And we'll see what happens with it. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit different than the first one. I like the video on the first one. And I like the first half of the song. But it kind of got a little stale for me because it was just the same... You know, he was reiterating the same points over and over again throughout the entire song, which, you know, it's just, it gets stale. I, I just don't like when songs get stale. And judging by this very first scene right here, it says hip hop is a culture, not a color, which I agree with 100%. Um, but it's kind of the same stuff that he was talking about in Guest. So I, I'm just hoping it's not a Guest part two and it's the same stuff. I'm hoping there's some other things that are a little bit different in this. That's the only gripe I had about the last one. I like the way this guy goes about his songs and his disses. They're a little more. Not calm. People were saying it's like a, a mellow diss. It's definitely not. It's still harsh. Uh, he's just like slower and more methodical with what he is saying. And like it's, I guess that's why people think it's more calm because it's not like quick and fast or anything like that. He's just, he's really methodical with the way he does it. And I like it. Oh, here I we go. I don't give a fuck if Nick's beefing with M. I didn't write guests because of the invitation. I wrote guests because I'm sick of racist motherfuckers in hip hop. Mm. Nick Cannon being one of them. Oh, shit. Fact, invitation dropped December 9th. I recorded guest October 18th. Ah. I got the studio files to prove it. Okay, so he said he recorded he recorded guest October 19th, October 18th, something like that, and that the invitation didn't drop till December 9th. So he had the song recorded pre, you know, pre-recorded, and I actually don't even know if he like name dropped Nick Cannon in guest. Now that I think about it, so I think it just kind of fit the narrative because like. He was definitely talking more about Lord Jamar and DJ Vlad talking about, you know, Eminem is a guest of hip hop and white people are guests in hip hop. And then, you know, Nick Cannon just kind of fell in line with that throughout his last few disses. So I, I, I guess that's what that happened there. I guess that's what happened with that situation right there. Uh, this dude reminds me so much of Adam Calhoun. It's nuts. Like the way he says his words and how like just everything about him. It's weird. Nick, this shit personal, bro. Uh, yeah. I'ma die for a motherfucker lie, dog. Wanna mm. test me, my guess, go ahead, try, dog. Alright. Fuck a vest if I ride, dog. I'm blowing out to eyeballs, why, dog? Why you gotta bring this side? I mean, nigga, ride on you quick. Or you fucking ride on this dick, ho. Mm. Bet you didn't know I got info that you feeling on the thighs of the guys in your limo. Okay. He has info that he's feeling on the thighs of the guys in his limo. Do you, though? Because that was, like, one of my main gripes about Nick's diss is, like, he was saying just, like, outlandish shit. Like, he heard that Eminem paid off his show for her because he sucked his cock or something like that, and there's, like, no proof to back it up. And, like, Mises, do you have any kind of proof that Nick was filling on the guy's thighs in his limo? <laughs> like, you, you get what I'm saying? That's, like, I don't know. I've never liked when people just kind of threw out stuff like that that didn't have any kind of proof, per se. I don't know. I don't know. I like the style though. I like the methodical style that he's going. Oh, that you feeling on the thighs of the guys in your limo. Yeah. Fuck with the wrong white boy. And not say that he could fight his own fight, boy. Even though he doesn't have to. Long as you keep using all his lyrics in your rap, dude. Man, you fucking trash, dude. M's boss the best that you ever flow. Mm. Your career is the best joke you ever told. Ah. Man, west, ah. ball, catch you out in public, run up on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like this hook. Oh, I like this hook. Woo. Okay, so I like that hook. I can imagine that going fucking nuts at a concert for real. Just like even just the way it's like, whoa, 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 motherfucker. Like I can just imagine that going crazy at a concert. That was nice. 
That was nice. I like that. He said the best joke you ever told in your own career, which cracked me up in the last one. He said something similar to that as well. I like that. All right, let's keep it moving. Damn, man, where you at the star shit? Looking like a lamb, where the fuck your magic carpet? What call you a has been, but your career never started. If I'm a guest, then you a host. Learn to play your part, bitch. Mm. If I'm a guest, you a host, and learn to play your part. Okay, I'm nice. Uh, he said he's looking like Aladdin. Where's your magic carpet? Because the turban and stuff like that. All right, cool, 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 cool. But you ain't no host of hip hop. You a host of Hollywood. Act up, you get dropped. I know your people nick a pin to your lap. Been for my Tims on the boards where you mix your tracks. I can drop mm. your head in like you drop T and these for deals. So drop the race shit before I drop in for real. Drop mm. for real. Put you on your ass, niggas. Rapping ain't the only way that you can get your ass kicked. Man, you <laughs> Rapping ain't the only way that you can get your ass kicked. Nice. You can that's a nice hook. And just so we're clear, this ain't just for Nick. This for anybody out there talking that racist shit. Right. Anybody out there saying that somebody don't belong somewhere because of the color of their fucking skin. Fuck you. Hip hop is a culture, not a color. But um, if you still feel differently, Nick, then feel free to come make me leave. Make ah. me leave, bitch. <laughs> Damn. You can't though. You know why? Sam's bars were the best that you ever flow. Your career is the best joke you ever told. Alright, so it's going back to the hook. M's bars are the best that you ever flowed because he, you know, he took M's bars and renegade and stuff. Man! Okay, my man's mad. And understandably so. Like I, the whole thing, the whole race issue and hip hop stuff, like I think it's just so fucking stupid. Like, dude, just I don't know. I, I I've gotten to a point where like I'm just so tired of First of all, like, I'm tired of the race issue. I'm tired of the mumble rap versus fast rap versus, like, people hating on each other's styles. Like, I'm tired of all of it, man. I know I was in a song called Mumble Rapper versus, or I was in a song called Death the Mumble Rap. Like, even in my verse, I said, I don't hate the sound, I hate the message. Because, like, I listen to death metal, and, like, if you listen to death metal, it's nothing but a bunch of fucking screaming and just, like, the sound. A lot of people don't get it, but it's, like, an adrenaline-filled thing for me. And, like, I hate the songs that talk about, like, killing people and drugs and stuff in that, too. Like, I don't know. I'm just so tired of of it, man. I'm so fucking sick and tired of people having shit to say about me and my music, me saying shit about other people's music, people dissing everybody's style of music. I'm so tired of it all. Like, I am literally to a point where I just want everybody to fucking make their own music and shut the fuck up. Like, it's so stupid. Including myself. I need to shut the fuck up about everybody else's music. People need to shut the fuck up about mine. If you don't like it, just move on. And, like, I came to that realization a couple months ago and it's just like it's all rekindled itself because of that one song and it's like it's it's triggered me okay i've been very very upset about all that shit very upset about all that shit okay and uh yeah that's that's my piece on that right there i ain't scared here west about to hit the bro get you out in public run up on you whoa whoa whoa, whoa. i love that hook dude So that is the homie Mises, as in Jesus, but me, Mises, okay? I need to get that right and keep that right, because you guys basically verbally, verbally attacked me for getting it wrong in the last one. But uh, yeah, what did you guys think about this? I like the way this guy does his music. I like his, like I said, the methodical style that he has, the slower style. Uh, reminds me so much of Adam Calhoun. I think somebody said they had a song together. Is that true? I don't know if they have a song together or not, but I think they would sound great together. Um, speaking of Adam Calhoun, he dropped a song yesterday. I need to react to that over here. Can't do it today, though, because I have to go to work, and I'm working on some other videos. So this is going to be the only video for today, and um, 
yeah, you guys can get off my dick about it, okay? Okay, everybody good? All right, cool. Uh, so, yeah, just uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Go over to Mises. Or Mises? M Mises! Okay, it's not Mises. It's Mises. Go over to Mises. Let him know that Crip sent you guys. Go drop a like. Show some love if you guys want to. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. And until next time, it has been your boy Crypt, and I am signing out. Penis.